Uh, so this is Bella. Bella is our lovely, cosy, rustic home from home. She's got lots of colour, lots of decorative features, and she's perfectly set up for us and our little family. One of the features that we get asked about most often, funnily enough, is these two chairs. Um, so these are just little flip down seats. And what we love about them, they're proper, you know, legal safe seats with three point seat belts. Uh, and what it meant is that when we had our twins a couple of years ago, we very easily transformed this from being a three birth to being a five birth. Um, so that's really handy. This is Bella's beautiful kitchen. This is a Scandinavian idea. Chopping board, it comes out quite easily. That also just gives you a little bit of uh, additional space and you, know, you can have your toast or veg chopping on it and just push it away so you've got easy, continue to get easy access. Uh, the drawers are held in with uh, golf tees. They uh, regularly get snapped by people forgetting that that's how it works. Nice, simple, mechanical, replaceable. Down here we've got the fridge. It also holds in with another golf tee. It's a little 12 volt thermoelectric fridge and it can stand in you know, full height, two litre bottles in there. Bit of extra storage underneath here. Here's um, Bella's guest book with comments dating back to 2010. The very first hire, early 2011. So I'm sure that lots of people will be curious about how you do the woodwork like that, David. So why don't you talk through what this effect is? It's not, in fact, uh, wood from the stripy tree. So this is uh, marine ply. I selected it because it's got alternating layers. They're all hardwood layers, uh, but alternating colours. Uh, um, there's a section of 9mm ply in here, and then on the outside I've slapped on some big chunks of 18mm uh, ply. The same here with the with the draw fronts, just a big chunk goes on here. And then I use a, a blade called an Arbitec to uh, grind it away, and then an awful lot of sanding. It's a huge amount of work, but it's, it's great fun to do. I don't have any big, I, clear idea of what it's going to look like. Just kind of follow the blade as you're grinding. I also pop that mirror in the middle so that it can be a kitchen come bathroom. So in a camp van, every space has to have at least two functions. Um, so obviously that's also where you wash your face, uh, wash your pits, do your makeup, whatever you're doing, especially if you're at a festival or going off to a wedding or something, it's really handy having a mirror. Um, and up here, I've got a bit of space for, well, there's coffees and teas and stuff, but there's also space for your toiletries, toothbrushes, makeup, whatever else you need. Shall we talk about the wood burner? Yeah, so this, uh, the little gas tanks that we use in, in I've always used in Bella, the uh, uh, 907s from uh, Camping Gas, and I took out one, one of the, an old one from the, from the gas supplier and chopped it open along with a bunch of bits of uh, steel out the scrap yard and turned it into this. Uh, it's a great little wood burner, nice and compact. Obviously it's got a very short chimney on it being a wood burner, so it does take a little bit to get it going, but once it goes, it goes very, very hot. The legs here, I was looking for something a bit interesting and reclaimed to use as the legs, so I found a fork in our garden and chopped the prongs off that to make this. I love it, I think it's so pretty. So the key thing, if you're using this burner, as David said, it takes a bit of time to get it going. You want to chop up your kindling super small. There's an axe provided as well. Um, and just feed it with loads of kindling until the fire is really, really roaring. And at that point, you can then close the door, keep the um, vent open, and then you'll have a lovely fire that will keep burning. And you get so much heat out of it. So actually, my favourite time to go away in the van is in winter. One of our favourite features in Bella has always been, for us when we were young and could sleep until midday, um, the fact that we could completely black it out. Obviously, that's even more important now we've got kids. Putting all the shutters. It is lovely and dark in here. So there's a whole debate, as you may know in the van life world, about whether to have a table and benches that turns into a bed or a fixed bed. This for us works really, really well because actually we like to have sociable meals and there is no way that in this space you could fit a large enough table and a fixed bed. Um, this fits us and our three kids around it or us and our friends. We've often hosted dinners for six or eight people. Um, and then it turns into an enormous bed. So anyone who's wondering how all five of us fit in here, then that's the secret. Me and David, oh, me and David and the twins um, in the big bed, and then our five-year-old uh, fits in a little cab bunk on the front. We've had to just keep adapting it as our lives change, because me and David converted it uh, 11 years ago. And we were newly together, had no kids, and uh, had no idea we were gonna be renting it out. So we just did what worked for us. And then as things have changed, we've made it better for our customers and 
better for our family. So as you'll notice, Bella is a totally unique colour and that was just something that we picked off a colour swatch when we were transforming her from a van for our own use to a van to rent. We really wanted her to not just look like a regular builder's van. Um, I'm a big fan of resprays and doing things in beautiful colours or even just um, as well as the respray, we've used these decals. So if you don't want to use any paint on your van, um, just a few decals to add a bit of interest, I think is really lovely. Hey, we've got uh Entirely pointless, but quite pretty. <laughs> Drinks cabinet, was once upon a time backlit, but that's too much of a pain in the door. Um, can I open it up? Yeah. Oh, they broken off. So it's just a little... I mean... A little bit of Hobbiton. It'd probably be good to show you around the rest of the storage, because storage is a key feature um, in a van. This drawer works really well for having some really accessible storage space so I tend to either fill it up with extra food that doesn't fit in the drawers here um, or I'll just put all my clothes in there. These shelves which are just open all along there, great for clothing, just handy because you can see it um, and access it really easily. And then we've got an extra little cupboard in here just with a few of what turn, have been people's favourite games so uh, Mastermind, Sea Battle, Ludo and um, we've got some poker chips as well. Uh, because that's one of the really nice things about being in van is having a table and no matter what the weather's like outside you can sit in here and play games to your heart's content. So we've got these pretty little fairy lights along here which give a lovely warm glow um, although not loads of light if you're trying to read or do something. So the main source of light is this one here um, which has just got some LED strips inside it and uh, the way that this has been made is that you can hang it at any height so if you feel like going for a sort of um, poker style effect than you can or if you want to hang it right up at the top and then it just really easily stows away when you're travelling. 